How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sun, and welcome back to the episode of the European Universalis 4 uh, Sweden campaign, where we're just about to go to war with our friends, the Muscovites. Um, and we're gonna F them up, because I am annoyed with them. They've always annoyed me. But finally, we get to, uh, you know, release our wrath upon them. And uh, that'll be good. So, I think we're about to do that. Because we already have a claim, we already have, we're doing all right. Severe and the knights, I don't care, whatever. Let's go to war. Um, let's raise some war taxes and wait a month, apparently, apparent or approximately. Sorry, I've been recording like a bunch of episodes today. I've got maybe like five under the under my belt today, so um, I'm getting a little tired, a little not tired really. I have plenty of energy, like mental. Wise, but my vocal cord is getting a little tired and strung out, and my words are starting to trip over each other a bit. <clears throat> but, you know, it's just how it is. We'll probably have to take on more debt this... Well, I don't know, we're making a good bit of money now. What changed about our money situation? I don't know what just changed about our army situation. We were paying a lot more before. This guy is part of it, I guess, but I don't know what happened, but we were spending like 70 ducats a month, now we're spending 40. <clears throat> I mean, war taxes is also part of it, but, you know, I don't know, it seems like a big change happened there for whatever reason. A little confused by it, but, you know, not gonna complain. I have vassals, get to work on these guys. I'm gonna try to eat the rest of Muscovy in this war, at least the rest of the stuff that we can get. Uh, and you know what? That is a good dude. I'll probably hire him. I also think I might want to hire one of these guys who is cheaper. We'll see. That is not a top priority though. Hmm. Yeah, money's doing all right right now, finally. For the first time ever for us. There we go, we won their capital. Let's try to cut them off, make sure they don't get up into past all the nets in that area. So otherwise they're gonna siege the crap out of us. This army, you're on hunting our, their army down duty. And you're also on that duty. Okay. Come up here. They are strong, and they are outnumbering us, but I think they're going to be okay. Whoa! The quarter reduction of Charles X. Charles Gustavus selection as a current... Uh, huh. That's a good thing. I mean, losing 10 autonomy across the board is good, but I think most of our stuff in Scandinavia is already at the bottom. Um, I think stability is good. I think that's better in this situation. Yeah, so we should be able to at least hold out till our army gets here, and then we'll definitely win. Oh, yeah, we're going to be good. Good, good. Get that better general in charge, too. I want to see where they go. Okay. Oh, they're coming to attack us while well, they're gonna land on us, which is good. I like that. Come attack me in forest. <laughs> nice, nice, yes. Stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe. No stack wipe. Rip. Oh, they have, they have plenty of land down here. Of course, they're not gonna stack wipe. They're gonna come down here. Let's go down there and uh, start sieging down on our own. 
Ryozan, please siege this down, buddy. Okay. Stack wipe that army. Good. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this army up. I normally try not to do that if there's a big Muscovite stack running around, but uh, I think it's fine in this case because they are not as uh, powerful <laughs> as they normally are. Hmm. Might as well try to get more claims on the uh, Commonwealth scum. Oh, we have trade efficiency down. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is going all right, though. So I think I had sort of said that I was going to split it up by region after this point and have everything here. Yeah, everything below this point is going to Riazan. Um, I'm pretty sure. So I think we're actually pretty good to peace out now if we want. I don't even know where... Oh, Sabir's all the way over there. Yeah, get out of here, Sabir. I don't care about you. The knights... <laughs> I don't think are going to be super relevant in this war, huh? Still, we should send you here. Um, Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and start getting ready to peace out of this war. I'm probably just going to give them a strip of land across here. Look at that. They have Mishar promoted, but they probably don't have uh, Kazani. They wouldn't, yeah. So, Still, the Mishar land that uh, they have is promoted now, which Gazakamuk is actually going to be a target soon, too. We need to go to war with them eventually. And we could. Actually, you know what? We might do that after this. Heck, we might do that right now. Oh, Ottomans is a defender of the Sunni faith. Rip. Okay, never mind. Still, that's fine. It's relatively okay. Um, okay. Our marriage with France has ended. Ooh, no legal heir. Ooh, hold on. Ooh, we could get something going there, guys. A PU might not be out of the question with that, uh, with French. With the Frenchies there. Alright, so I'd really like to eat your whole country, please. That's not an option, it seems. But, we can take a bunch of it. <laughs> so, why wouldn't we? I feel like this is fine, right? You get this huge chunk of land. It's all Muscovite. It's all going to incorporate pretty easily. It's decent overall. Kind of feel like I'd rather do this than feed Rees on land. We'll feed them Gazakamuk in land. Ah, right, heck yeah, bud. Let's go. Build manufactories. That's hilarious. We should definitely do that now. Imperial Conquest as well? Uh, honestly, I'm going to do that now. This is a big chunk of land we got. We're not going to get any bigger tracts of land probably for a long time at least. I'm going to do that, uh, but we should first come in here. There we go. Now let's do that mission. I'm going to do that, actually. Yeah, look at that. Um, You come over to Yaroslavl, and we'll keep that fort there for now, just for rebel purposes. Oh, Muscovy, we are uh, quite a bit bigger than you now, buddy. How does that feel? Um, cost. Sort by cost. We didn't get the rest of Perm, but we got everything else, so that's pretty good. That will be pretty nice, I think. And yeah, we will go to war with these guys as soon as the Ottomans won't defend them. 
which will be a while. <laughs> Still, look at that though. It's pretty nice looking, isn't it? Now it's not all patchy with the Muscovites in between. Definitely gonna have rebels there. Uh, but hey, look at this though. The good side of this is that we are also debt free now because that event uh, or that um, mission, the production efficiency, uh, super good for it's ten percent for like thirty years. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And the prestige bonus on top. Why not? Uh, what we should do real quick is build some universities. I don't want to build too many, but I will build a few, uh, like in Amsterdam and I don't know, uh, Lubeck and Shayland and Akershus, you know? I just want to build enough to get the mission done, really. Novgorod and Moskva. Where's Moskva? There it is. Yeah, just build a few things there. Why not? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good track of land that we just got. That was nice. 35%. Mm hmm. We can do this though. That's good. Uh, what we should do then is that's actually perfect. We're, that's a perfect time for this. So, hold on. Yeah, let's see. Uh, do that. Honestly, I might do that. What is. Yeah, we need an admiral or we'd like one. It'll be helpful, especially if we are going to be going to war with the British soon. Which I'm not so sure about, but might be a thing. Uh, minister, definitely be more important, I think, more useful immediately. And then you, we're just gonna have to do manually. So nobility, give them some land. Are they maxed out? They are. Rip. Okay, that's not good. Uh, that's okay. It's not a terrible thing. It's just that we're gonna have to do this. <laughs> and then, hey, look at this, we get, oh no, it doesn't give you 200 at that level. What? Oh, I already did that. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, there we go, and the nobility are very unhappy. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, obviously, but uh, that's okay. I'm okay with it. Hmm. So we're not gonna make Flemish a promoted culture ever, so I think I'm gonna start converting it to Dutch, you know? I think that's a good idea. Let's make this Dutch. Can't make that one Dutch, that's fine. We can make this one Dutch, right? Yeah. I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna finish the tech now just to make it easier. Even though that might, or finish the ideas now, even though that might put us a little behind on tech. Yeah, no, aristocrats are not very happy with me, are they? Yeah, we're gonna have to fight some rebels. <laughs> we actually do have too many generals now because of the grant generalship that we did. I actually think, yeah, get rid of this general. He's not very good. That general is much better. Jeez. 5342, that's a great general. Okay. So what happened up here with Ostfriesland? Oh, East Frisia got popped out. They're allied with Bohemia. Oh my god. This is getting out of hand. Now there are a million of them. Um, man, I hate this game right now. <laughs> the Emperor is so annoying. You know what? It doesn't even matter at this point. We're just going to keep conquering everything. And they won't be able to stop us. Because we're powerful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go deal with these guys. Okay. 
That should have solved our issues, I believe. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there we go. So we definitely are going to need this army to be over here to deal with rebels. I'm going to keep one here, and this one will go down here to, to Prussian lands. I mean, actually, all this land is Prussian now, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Oh, man, France. <laughs> Please die without an heir. They're 32, not bad, not bad. Could totally happen. Maybe not too likely, but it could happen. Getting a pew over France would just be great. That'd be a great way to end this campaign. Oh, Portugal allied Spain again. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that's not gonna be feasible right now. I don't know. I don't know what, even, what war we even wanna do next. We got options, we got, we got plenty of options, but it's just like, which one do I wanna do? Do we get tech anytime soon? No, jeez. Or ideas, I, I, I didn't mean tech, I meant idea group. See, you can tell I'm, I've been recording a while. I'm talking less frequently. My thoughts are less coherent as they come out. <laughs> Still. Once we get imperialism, it's going to make everything a lot easier. Then we could probably dismantle the empire in a couple wars. Uh, we can take stuff from Spain, take colonial stuff, like which... Uh, you know, take Florida over, which will be really nice, by the way. Just getting a big chunk of colonial land all at once. In Canada, too, you know. That'll be nice. Um, and the Krybus, you know. We'll be able to get that stuff easy. And that'll help with our income. I don't know. Everything will start getting easier at that point. One thing we need to do is uh, is actually fabricate on Hungary. They've gotten so far up here that they own a bunch of uh, land that normally doesn't belong to them. Hmm. When does our truce with UN? Probably quite a while left on it, huh? Uh, two years. Not bad. Okay. Um. About to finish. Yep. Look at that. Woo! That's, a, that's some decent land in there, too. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. What about Hamburg? I hate that. I might just like attack Hamburg. It's gonna bring in a lot of people. I really want to take over like some of this land here though, like Hamburg or Laumburg or both. All right, it's time to do yearly absolutism. Next up will be the other one. We're doing all right though, you know. We have all the ones that we're gonna get, so better be happy with it. Yeah, screw you, nobility. Now I have unhappy burgers. Um. Hey, there we go. Much better.
Hmm. Don't need this right now. Might as well put in production efficiency, honestly. Okay. Two years. And Hungary is allied to like Austria, Great Britain, a bunch of other people. It's a nest. Great Britain and Spain, okay. Austria and Hungary have not been in a PU this time, I don't think, if I remember correctly. And now Hungary is just all the way up in Germany. Austria is all the way over in like in Italy. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. I kind of feel like Great Britain might be the next big war we do. It's going to be tough, though. No, definitely. It's going to be tough. They're allied to Austria and Hungary, so. But I kind of feel like that's what we should start saving up for, and building up for. But also, look at this. No more rebels in the Netherlands. We did solve that problem, I think. I think it's also 1650 might be the cutoff for that. It could be. So maybe I didn't do anything, but still. I like to think I did. <laughs> Give me a second here. Mothball. Let's make some money. I am also going to build another... Uh, this is, I'm going to build a template. And do a 10 heavies template. And build two sets of these. We don't have enough sailors. Not enough money. Wow. Okay. Keep in mind, eventually, we're also going to have to go to war with the Ottomans. But I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I'd rather wait on that one. Actually, yeah, what are... Hold on. Yeah, Ottomans still have us beat by a bit. I think our troop quality is probably better than theirs at this point in the game, but uh, still. I don't want to mess with the number one great power right now, even if we are the number two and pretty close. Yeah, I'd rather not do that. Okay, so let's start getting these uh, ships built. I think we're going to come in here and say... Boom. There you go. And we'll do another set as well. These nobles are not happy with me, are they? 1% <laughs> loyalty. I don't know if I've ever seen them get that low. It's quite funny, actually. Heck, man, I'll give you some more land. Just don't get disloyal. Or, uh, too much influence. And we'll be fine. <laughs> um, I think Rupin might be the one we go for next from Hungary. Not sure, really. What about Friesland? They're still guaranteed by someone, right? No, they guarantee someone. Ooh, you know, that should, that's what we need to do. That's a quick war we can do in between another war that we'll do with, like, uh, Britain or whatever. While our ships are building and stuff, you know? I think that's a good one. Let's uh, get our army maintenance up for that. If Brandenburg won't defend them especially, you know? I'd rather get these two provinces real quick. Oh, I don't have claims on both. Hold on. Do that. Uh, you know, each step we take towards unifying our coastline here would be very, very useful. Oh, but they... Mmm, that's right. Okay, we'll see if we can get Lubeck in the, involved in that somehow, you know? Or Hamburg, for that matter. Lubeck and Hamburg are allied. Guaranteed by Friesen. But you're all, also allied to Hungary. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. What about Hamburg, though? Brandenburg will defend them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Are there any other better provinces here? Ooh, Boroslav. Um, Boros, Boroslo, Boroslo. I don't know. Let's get that one. Well, I don't know. It's Silesian. Do we even want that? I'd rather get this one. I think. It's Polish province. Okay. Hmm. Friesland still owns this land. Forgot about that. Um, I think we have too many armies over here. I'm gonna bring one over this way. We'll move over during this war. Okay, I think we're gonna go to war with you. Brandenburg, Brandenburg will not defend you. Hopefully, that's not lying. Okay, go here. Smash. You come down here. You have to go all the way around, really? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Alright, fine. Do it then. If you must, do it. Okay. Hmm. I shouldn't really be doing this now, I guess. That was what I was supposed to wait for and didn't. Whatever. Okay. I mean, very annoying. Hmm. I might actually become Defender of the Faith for the extra missionary it grants. But at the same time, and the morale is good, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I do have this guy here, don't I? Not been using him for much. Tell you what, though, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here, I think. So thank you guys for watching. I might actually stop this recording session. I've recorded quite a few episodes. I'm getting a little tired, but I might do one more. We'll see. Either way, thank you for watching. Please go leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.